hi friends in this video we are going to discuss about what is the return type of a method okay how to understand what is the return type and how we can return the output from the method to the wherever you are calling to that particular method okay so return type you can give anything like int string float double anything you can give as a return type from the method let me assume i have one method is there okay so addition method is there public void my method name is addition um, and i am passing two arguments here int a comma int b okay int a comma int b i am passing here and i want to have this method okay output is my output is i want to return int c equal to i want to return int c equal to okay i want to return int c equal to a plus b okay now the c value is copies inside of this method only but i want to access the c value outside of this method then how we need to do that okay i want to access the c value whatever the output is there this value outside of this method okay see you can observe carefully here here void what is void guys so whatever void is there this is the return type if nothing you are returning its return type is void or in this case int a int b you are addition you are performing its return type is integer so instead of void what you need to pass you need to pass int okay you need to pass int now how this method is public void sorry public int addition int a comma int b okay int a comma int b now here you are performing int c equal to a plus b how we can return this value return keyword is there in java return c so return c means it will check for what type of uh, what is the data type of c integer what is the return type of this method integer so whatever you are returning that data type you need to mention here if it is a string or integer or float or double or char whatever it is okay so the method should have the return type whatever you are returning from here now how to make a call to this method you can create object to your class okay so how you are getting this is like any class is there i for example class a a equal to new class a for this class we are creating a object and a dot which method we are calling addition method 10 comma 20 you are passing how to access this c value how to catch this c value whatever the value here you are getting how to catch this value here very simple assign same data type variable int d equal to like this way what will happen here is whatever the value you are getting here okay whatever the value it is returning from here whatever the value you are you are returning from here as a integer okay so this value yeah so that value will come to this d variable okay this d variable whatever the integer value you are returning from here that value will comes to where this value comes to directly to d so whatever the c value you are returning here that c value okay so it is directly uh, assigning it to the variable you assi uh, the variable which you assigned as a um, returned value here so the c value whatever you are getting directly it will assign to d d variable can we give here integer of instead of integer can we give here float no you can give but type casting is required and all that we will discuss later okay type casting is required to do that that we will discuss later okay so my point here is whenever you want to return some value from the method instead of void void means return nothing you are returning you want to return something then you can give either based on your requirement you can give int float or double or string anything how you will catch the returned value by using you need to assign that value to 
same return type of the variable okay so if it is you are returning integer value then assign that data directly it will be assigned to the variable which you assign to this method call okay let me see all these things practically okay L let let me see all these things practically see here what is happening and all fine let me create a new class here okay i'm going to create a new class my class name is mathematical math example okay i'm going to have the multiple methods here for example public int addition method is there which i am passing two values here also int a comma int b okay so i want to perform um, int c is there so a plus b i am doing okay i am returning integer value i am returning integer value return c that's it similarly i have another method which is also I'm going to return uh, my method name is a subtraction okay instead of a plus b i am going to do um, a minus b i am doing and return c okay you may get a doubt sir why you are taking here also int c is there here also int c is there that's fine it's int, int c scope is only this method int c scope is this method okay so don't worry so but outside of all these methods you cannot have same variable name multiple times because it is class level scope okay fine similarly let me have one more method for multiplication as well okay for multiplication also let me take here into c equal to a multiplied by b return c okay these three methods are there for me okay fine now i want to catch it we are returning the output we are returning the output from each method here okay we are returning the output from each method okay now let me create one more class to make a call to all these methods that's call just i have taken public static void main okay now observe carefully here i need to create object to which class now math example class i need to create object m a equal to new as example object i have created successfully m a dot which method i want to call first addition method i want to give just 10 comma 20 okay 10 comma 20 i have given here but this method you can observe carefully here this method is returning what some value i want to catch that value okay i want to catch that value how we can give it so in the class level let me take one variable which is int result which is common to all the methods so i am giving here result equal to okay result equal to it is the integer type of the variable okay it is the integer type of variable guys it is the integer type of variable okay that's fine it is giving result let me uh, later i will tell you why what is the error and all let me take into result now you don't get any error see this value is going to store it into where result whatever the addition method is returning okay the return type of this method already you know the return type of this method is int here okay so that integer value whatever the value c it is returning it is going to store it into where result okay now i want to display the result i want to display the result how we can do that so addition is plus is the plus is the what operator guys concatenation operator very simple okay same i want to do it for subtraction and i want to do it for what multiplication also see here one more method subtraction is there uh, instead of 10 here uh, let me give 40 
and the subtraction value is okay instead of addition here what i need to give multiplication multiplication 10 comma 20 and the multiplication value is okay that's it so this is how you can return the value from the method okay this is the way how you will return the value from a method you want to return then return operator you need to use but whatever the value you are returning that data type and whatever the return type here you provided it should be same for example let me have i have one more method public string i want to return uh, my name name i want to return here i am passing string first name comma string second name i want to pass just i am returning the value I am returning the value just first name just concatenating these two with middle one space I want to add it I am just concatenating these two that's it now what is the return type of this one it is a string or let me string full name equal to okay string full name equal to I want to return return full name I want to return this value in this case the return type is string now how you can make a call to this method observe carefully here now can I assign result to this I can I assign result to this guys I hope you understand by now can I assign result because result is an integer type of variable it is returning you can carefully understand here change type of result to string because it is returning string type of data but result is the integer type of data you cannot store so let me take another variable string name okay so now you can assign this to name like this see now no errors are there like this way so the return type will work in the methods and all full name just I am giving a name here that's it let me run this uh, program and verify see addition is subtraction is multiplication is full name is so like this way it is going to work so my concept here what I am trying to explain in this video is the return type if there is no return type for that method then what we need to give we need to give void I don't want to return anything I can give void okay so I don't want to return any value then I can give void but I want to return something integer means you need to provide here integer string you want to return means you need to provide the string okay so like this way we can work I, I want to make you guys understand what is the importance of a return type okay so yeah anything you can give as a return type int float double care string anything depends on your requirement okay depends on your requirement you can give anything in this example I tried with int and string you can try with float double care and let me know how it is working and all okay so that's all for this session okay so thank you so much